thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss probability number 20. We are told that uh, one day during inspection in a certain secondary school, it was discovered that there was a probability of two out of five that a student had shaggy air. If a student had shaggy air, there was a probability of a half that he had torn uniform. But if he had properly comped air, there was a probability of a quarter that he had a torn uniform. If a student had torn uniform, there was a probability of four out of five that he had unpolished shoes. Otherwise, there was a probability of three out of five that he had polished shoes. Part A, represent this information in a probability tree diagram. So we'll begin by the first information provided. It was discovered that there was a probability of two out of five that a student had shaggy air. Therefore, we will start by the two possibilities. Air can be shaggy or not shaggy. Then we have two out of five. Because these are two mutually exclusive events, then the other event should be three out of five automatically. Because a student cannot be having both shaggy and comped air. So the events are mutually exclusive. Their probability should add up to one. To the next, if a student had shaggy air, there was a probability of a half that he had torn uniform. So with shaggy air now, we can have torn uniform or not torn uniform. Torn uniform is half and torn uniform is also half. Then we are told that uh, if he had properly comped air, there was a probability of a quarter that he had torn uniform. So if air is not shaggy, then uniform being torn is a quarter. That means an torn uniform is three out of four. And finally, we are being told that uh, we are being told that uh, if a student had torn uniform, there was a probability of four out of five that he had unpolished shoes. So with torn uniform, the shoes can be unpolished or polished. And the shoes being unpolished is four out of five. That means being polished is only one over five. Then we go again to torn uniform. We can have unpolished shoes or polished shoes. Unpolished is four out of five, which means polished is one out of five. Then we are told that uh, otherwise there was a probability of three out of four that he had polished shoes. So otherwise is now when the uniform is unturned, not torn uniform, now we can have unpolished shoes or polished shoes. But now probability that the shoes are polished is three out of five, which means unpolished will be two out of five, them being mutually exclusive events, two out of five. The same applies at this point. We can have unpolished or polished. Polished being three out of five, unpolished being two out of five. So that is the probability tree diagram for the stated events. Find in part B the probability that one, a student had all the three folds. So to have the three folds, then we need probability that the student is having shaggy air, torn uniform, and unpolished shoes. So this is going to be two out of five, uh -huh, half, and four out of five. So this is going to be four out of 25 that is the probability that a student 
and all the three folds. In part two, we are finding the probability that a student had exactly two folds. So for a student to have exactly two folds, there can be probability that uh, the air is shaggy and the uniform is torn, but the shoe is polished. So you have only two options, or which means addition, the probability that uh, the air is shaggy, the uniform is not torn, and the shoe is unpolished. So we are having shaggy air, unpolished shoe, being the two folds, but the uniform not torn. Or finally, we can have the uniform, okay, the, the, the air not shaggy, then the others now, we have torn uniform and polished shoes. So now we are having all those possibilities giving us exactly two folds. So this is going to be two over five, a half and one over five, or which means addition, two out of five, a half and two out of five, or lastly, we can have three out of five, one out of four, and four out of five. We're just following the tree diagram. So as long as you've stated all these possibilities, then you extract the probabilities from the tree diagram. Then this is going to be one out of 25 plus two out of 25 plus three out of 25. This will give us six out of 25. So that is the probability that a student had exactly two folds. And finally, you're finding the probability that a student had no folds at all. So we're going to probability. The student is not having shaggy air. The student is not having torn uniform. And the student is having polished shoes. So this is probability that the student had no faults at all. And this is exactly going to be three out of five. Then uh, three out of four and three out of five. And this is going to be 27 out of 100. So this is the probability that a student is not having any fault.